Hello friends, welcome to TechQuest channel. This is for the medical technologies by your tech. In this video, we will discuss about urine culture method. Urine culture sample containers. It should be a sterile standard container. It should prevent contamination of the sample with bacteria or other microorganisms that could affect the test results. It should be leak proof containers are typically made of high quality plastic like polypropylene and come with a secure screw cap or snap on lid to prevent spills during collection and transport. Transparent. The transparent container allows to easily absorb the sample volume, color, clarity and consistency. The container should be wide mouth to facilitate easy and clean sample collection, minimizing the risk of spills and contamination. The urine container capacity available in various sizes commonly ranging from 30 ml to 120 ml to accommodate different sample volumes. Containers are individually sealed to maintain sterility until they are used. Urine culture transport containers may contain preservatives like boric acid to prevent bacterial overgrowth and ensure accurate quantitative assessment when the transport is delayed to the lab. Sample rejection criteria. The urine sample must be clearly labeled with the patient's information and it should match with the requisition form. Mislabeled and missing or incomplete informations are rejected. Insufficient sample volume is not accepted. Leaking or broken containers are not suitable for urine culture testing. Contaminated samples, prolonged transport time, inappropriate containers, example, unsterile containers are not used for urine culture methods. Follies catheter tips or bags are not accepted due to high risk of contamination. Multiple samples from the same patient are not accepted because there will be a chances of mix up or different patients. Specimen with needles rejected in some labs due to safety reasons. Urine culture sample method. The first method is the midstream clean catch sample. The area is washed well with soapy water and dried prior to swabbing with spirit. Some urine is allowed to pass freely and the remainder collected directly into a sterile bottle. This is preferred because the ureter and the urethra is flushed before collecting the sample. The second method is catheterization. This method involves inserting a catheter into the bladder to drain and collect urine sample. When a patient cannot void urine on their own or when a sterile sample is needed. The third method is the suprapubic aspiration method. This invasive method involves inserting a needle directly into the bladder through the abdomen to collect urine sample. It is used when other methods are not feasible or when a high sterile sample is required. When repeated cultures are negative or contaminated but the patient having strong symptoms of urinary tract infection. The fourth method is the urine bags. These are used for infants and young children. They cannot yet control their urination. Bags are attached to the genitalia by contamination rates can be higher. Preservation. If immediate delivery to the lab is not possible, sample may be refrigerated. Sample processing. The gram stain. A drop of uncentrifuged sample is placed on a glass light without spreading and allowed to dry at room temperature or at 37 degrees centigrade in the incubator. A round marking is made on the other side of the glass light with glass marking pencil to focus the smear under the microscope easier. The smear is heat fixed and gram strained. The amount of puzzles and the bacteria present in the sample are reported. Purpose of gram stain. Preliminary identification. A gram stain provides rapid information about the presence and the type of bacteria helping healthcare workers to start the antibiotic treatment before the culture reports. Urine gram stain helps the technologists to decide the culture media and the size of the culture media for growth. If gram-positive organisms are more, 
the blood agar and gram negative bacilli organisms are present a macaque agar or clad media are used for isolation the bacterial low in gram stain decides the full plate or half plate for isolation of bacteria a sda media may be added if yeast cells are noted in gram stain media used for urine culture blood agar and macaque agar are commonly used for urine culture blood agar supports the growth of wide range of bacteria including both gram positive and gram negative it also allows for the observation of hemolysis patterns for identifying certain bacteria macaque agar is selective that inhibits the growth of some bacteria allowing others to grow this also differentiating the lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting bacteria by the color Clad media contain cysteine. The amino acid promotes the growth of cysteine-dependent bacteria and helps in the formation of small colonies. Lactose present in the media allows to differentiate between lactose fermenting and non-lactose fermenting colonies. Electrolyte deficient prevents the swarming of protea species for isolation. Media contains bromothymol blue or and rates indicated differentiate the lactose fermenters and non lactose fermenting colonies media selection depending on the gram stain findings the size of the media can be decided for example more gram positive are present a full plate of blood agar can be used and half plate of macaque agar or clad can be used if more of gram negative bacteria are seen a full plate of macaque agar or clad and full plate of a blood agar can be used because gram negative bacilli grows on both plates a large area is used for proper isolation of colonies for identification if no bacteria seen in gram stain half plate of blood agar and half plate of macaque agar or clad is used additional of sda slope or plate can be used if fungal elements are seen in gram stain urine colony count urine itself is a good growth medium for bacteria the sample must be inoculated immediately or refrigerated if delay is expected the urethra of the urinary tract is not a sterile area contains normal flora and contaminants the colony count is important for assess the infection urine sample inoculation urine samples are inoculated in a special way that counts the number of organisms present per volume of urine and isolation of colonies for further identification of bacteria early days the urine sample was diluted with sterile saline for the colony count nowadays calibrated loop method is used the amount of sample inoculation culture media selection and the size of the media depends on gram stain a calibrated loop that can deliver 0.01 ml or 0.001 ml of urine is inoculated onto the culture medium a straight line is up to the off plate is inoculated from the urine culture sample container with upright position of the loop then the streaking done for the entire area if nichrome wire is used for streaking no heating is done between the strokes the plates are incubated for 16 to 18 hours at 37 degree centigrade for growth colony count calculation if 0.1 ml sample is used for isolation each colony counts 100 colonies per ml of urine sample if 0.001 ml of sample is used for colony count each colony is 1000 colonies per ml of sample interpretation of colony count in colony count it is important to decide whether these organisms needs identification colony is more than 1 lakh per ml is considered a significant growth the organisms needs to be identified and the antibiotic sensitivity is reported colonies between 10000 to 1 lakh per ml are reported as probably significant the organisms needs to be identified and the antibiotic sensitivity is reported the physician clinically correlate with the identified organisms and makes the decision 
to start an antibiotic or needs to repeat. Insignificant growth when the colonies are less than 10,000 per ml are normally considered contaminants in the sample. If more than three types of colonies are present, it is considered improper sample or reported as no growth. The samples collected by suprapubic aspirations are directly collected from the bladder in aseptic method. The colony count is not important. The identification and the antibiotic sensitivity is performed and reported even they are few. Identification of organisms done by biochemical methods and antibiotic sensitivity is done by stroke or QB bar method for urine culture samples. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you.